there are many things you need to think about when enrolling. This video will highlight critical areas you should focus on as you decide which classes you want to take next year. Be sure you focus on your future goals when enrolling. It is important that you have a plan for your future that gives you direction. The first step for any future plan is graduation from high school. It is important to look over your transcript and graduation requirements that you will receive in advisory to see how your credits look. If you have questions, make sure you talk to your academic coach or counselor. Let's review graduation requirements. Make sure you know what credits are required for you to graduate. English, four credits. Math, three credits. Science, three credits. Social studies, three credits. Practical art, one credit. Fine art, one credit. PE, one credit. Health, half a credit. Personal finance, half a credit. Electives, nine credits. It's important for you to have a personal plan of study to direct your class choices in high school. You started making one of these in eighth grade, and you'll be updating this in advisory. It's also helpful if your plan includes the first couple of years beyond high school. College admission requirements are often different than Lisa at High School graduation requirements. Researching the internet, visiting colleges, and talking to your counselor are all ways to make sure you have what you need to attend the college you want. Throughout school, you've had opportunities to explore careers and find out more about your interests and strengths. Choosing an area of focus in the Career and Educational Planning Guide will help give you direction in choosing your classes. You must have nine credits of electives to graduate. Elective classes are excellent opportunities to explore different areas and gain valuable skills for your future. There's no need to stress about having time to get your elective credits completed for graduation. As you can see, many different classes can count for elective credit. If you complete the required credits in each of the categories mentioned earlier and earn your required 26 credits for graduation, you will automatically have your elective credits completed. Students who challenge themselves by taking advanced courses in high school do better in college. In preparing for your future, you need to consider the many opportunities available for advanced study. There are opportunities for you to earn high school and college credit while taking courses at Lee Summit High School. You can also earn high school and college credit while taking courses at Longview Community College. Whatever you choose, don't forget to look at these items to make sure you are selecting courses that you are qualified to take. If you have questions about whether you are qualified for a course, be sure to see your counselor or academic coach. There are a number of programs at Lee Summit High School that require an application or audition. All applications and auditions have a priority deadline of January 29th. During the enrollment fair, you'll have the chance to explore the many programs offered at Lee Summit High School. There are also a variety of off-campus programs available to students. The programs at these schools are half-day programs where you attend Lee Summit High School in the morning or afternoon, and the other half of your day is spent at the off-campus school. These programs also require applications and have a priority deadline of January 29th. Lee Summit High School students had the opportunity to visit these schools, and here's what they found. Welcome to Cass Career Center. We are located in Harrisonville, Missouri, and serve many school districts in Cass County. We also serve a few schools located in Jackson County. Students are eligible to attend Cass Career Center their junior or senior year and are bused to our site by the Lee Summit School District. Cass Career Center programs are half-day programs where you attend Lee Summit High School for half a day and Cass Career Center for the other half of the day. There are many programs offered at Cass Career Center, but the two main programs available for Lee Summit High School students are Agriculture and Fire Science EMT. The Agriculture program prepares students for careers in agricultural areas, builds awareness, develops leadership for the food, fiber, and natural resource systems. There are a variety of courses offered in the Agriculture program, ranging from Agribusiness to Landscape Design. The Fire Science EMT program covers standards in Firefighter Levels 1 and 2 and Emergency Medical Technician Basic. This two-year course teaches students to work in groups in emergency situations and helps them prepare to take the certified firefighter and EMT tests. Each of these programs at Cass Career Center offers students the opportunity to earn both high school and college credit. Before you apply, be sure to find out more about the program you are interested in to make sure it's right for you. Consider going on a visit. You will have the chance to visit Herndon Career Center and Summit Technology Academy in late January. When you apply, make sure to follow all directions so your application is not disqualified.
Enrollment will be handled the same way it was last year. The timeline shown gives you important dates you need to know so you're ready to enroll with your parents and academic coach on February 21st or 22nd. The first part of the enrollment process involves you talking with your parents, teachers, academic coach, and counselor if you have questions about classes you would like to take. Be sure to check the Career and Educational Planning Guide online for any course you think you'd like to take to make sure that it is right for you and you qualify for it. It can be found on the LSHS website. The second part of the enrollment process is for you to make sure you have your course request sheet signed off for any class that requires a teacher recommendation and turned in to your academic coach on January 29th. After this, you will go online to request your courses for next year. The final part of the enrollment process is when you and your parents meet with your academic coach on February 21st or 22nd to finalize the course request that you signed up for online. Remember, choose your course requests and alternates carefully. Alternate classes are classes that you are willing to take if you don't get all of your first choice requests. Alternates should not be circled on your course request sheet. Remember, you can't pick classes as alternates that need teacher approval unless you have a teacher's signature by the class. Once you've completed your enrollment in February, your course requests will be considered final and schedule changes won't be allowed. You need to carefully consider all the information you've received so you can make the best choices possible to prepare for your future.